Hello all, and welcome to another edition of This or That Chinchilla Movies. There's movies. nothing to do with chinchillas. <laughs> He's Coots, I'm Tank, and this is another edition of This or That Movies. movies. Today it's uh, a little 80s sci-fi matchup. It's Enemy Mine, as you see back here, versus Dune. Yeah. Dune, the sci-fi classic Dune versus the kind of second run, if you will, yep. Enemy Mine, but I just... Uh, I feel like Enemy Mind doesn't get enough credit a lot of the time. Yeah. It came out in 1985, so it's after. in that yeah. chunk of, of time, 84, 85, 86, where all these classics are just getting pumped out one after another, and this just kind of got lost in the fray in this a way. This was definitely dumped under the rug, I think. Yeah, like, it was and like I watched movie. the shit out of this movie as a kid. Yeah. I watched Enemy Mind so much, easily, easily my choice. Not even close. I love this movie. Like, we had it on VHS. We just you just finally watched. Dune. I watched Dune for the first time ever at some point in the last two weeks. I just yeah. never have seen Dune. I'm not a sci-fi guy, and in particular, Dune really isn't my thing. It, it's if you're a sci-fi person, if you like that genre, Dune is one of your shining beacons of of early. Like fandom, which you're like, oh my god! It just, I'm not a sci-fi yeah. person, even though I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. Like I'm not, I, I'm but not a sci-fi person. Not sci-fi, like I, I'm, 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 I'm in not. like a lot of the sci-fi, and he's like, eh, I feel like it's, dude, it's a couple, a couple stragglers you like, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like some of the you know, larger minus, blockbusters, minus the Star Wars. It's like, oh well, I actually enjoyed that one. And there's like a handful. Yeah, there's a scene. handful, but right. uh, of the sci-fi genre, I'd say it's less than 10% that I enjoy. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. But... In general. But it, it, Dune, it's just too much. Like, if you're not a sci-fi person, any time I'm watching a movie and I have to have, throughout the movie, I'm going to say like 8 to 10 minutes worth of dialogue narrated to me so that you have any idea what's going on is just a little bit too much. Yeah, they kind so of they don't explain they just, That's the way the movie starts is like the lit the is it a princess, right? She's a princess or yeah. something and she's just talking and talking and talking about these mines and it's on this planet and all that. Like I, I get you gotta have a backstory, but I thought that was gonna be the end of it. And then it's like two or three more times throughout the movie they're like so now let us tell you about this other thing that's got 97 pieces of specific details that you need to know to, for the next 20 minutes to make sense. Okay. Like, I get, I get it. I'll tell you one thing I loved about Dune was the design. Yeah. Like, the, the set design was fantastic. Big fan. Like, it's the same, I feel, I feel the same way about Dune as I do about Blade Runner. I don't like Blade Runner at all. But, yeah. like, I love the set design. The way they shot it is beautiful. It's perfect for the story. Same with Dune. It had a very, like... Pharaoh Egyptian kind of feel yeah. to it, and uh, I for, thought for being in the future, it's it's definitely like. But they also had it like it was an old timey futuristic film, which I kind of like. Right? Yeah. I just I I think that's probably the worst performance I've ever seen by Kyle MacLachlan. Really? Who I and actually that's, like see, him. And that's, and that's my favorite I'm performance by him. It, it's not. See, good. that's my favorite performance. It's really by him. a bit shocking. Yeah. It's campy. Dude, it's really is, one, Dune campy. is one of my favorite movies as far as sci fi goes. Um, I do like the book. If you never read the book, I love the book. No, I can't. I've, I've, I like the book is huge. If you read the actual one, and there's the original ones like that big. I read. I do read. Well, not spies are going expensive. So I don't read as much. But Dune is. <laughs> I'm sorry, get all funky. But the Dune is one of my favorite films. But I did grow up on Enemy Mine. Yeah, so yeah. this one is actually a super hard choice for me. I've it's watched. Not hard for me. At all. I've watched both of these equal amount. I love it, um, and I don't like Dune. So you're right. Um, I'm definitely gonna watch Dune. I'll tell you what, though. I'm definitely gonna watch Dune again, though. I, I see Dune that. I, I gotta admit, I've seen Dune more recent than I've seen Enemy Mine. Yeah, it's for sure. It's probably been about. I've been able to. I've been looking for it for a couple of years, and I've been able to mm, find it. It's probably been about close to a decade since I've yeah. seen Enemy yeah. Mine. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. And then, Same. but I do. I've seen it countless times. Or, or enjoyed watching it. The Rudder are a lot of cheesy parts now, I think, because Dennis Quaid is kind of an over the top actor. He, he, you know what, Dennis Quaid, I was going to mention that. Like, Dennis Quaid plays distressed very, very well. Yeah. He's very good at acting yeah. 
like serious things are happening right now. He's got good yells yeah. and uh, a good voice for distress I, and problematic situations. I, He's great. I can't explain. Like, yeah, this, this is my his weird little, little scream thing he does. I can't explain, but it's like, ah, it's, like, it's, like a yeah. thing. it's 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 specifically Dennis Quaid, yeah. and it's like two levels below Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> It's like, but it's good. Like it, it works. works though, it's yeah. perfect, though. So um, my, it's a tough choice for you. But what is your choice, my friend? It is time to make the pick. I'm gonna go with Enemy Mine, actually. I as, think you made the right choice. Sir. As much as I, look, I, I love you, and I really do. I love the book. I love the movie. Enemy Mine has kind of more of a, a thing for me. I used to watch my grandfather a lot. So it's when he passed. That was one of our movies. It was touching. I love. It's it. a touching it's story. Great. Which actually surprised me. I figured I thought you were gonna pick Dune. I definitely yeah, thought you were gonna I, pick Dune. Well, it's 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 right there. So it's almost all right. Cool. I have seen more recent, but I love Dune. But any of mine holds a little bit more specialty oh, I love place. It. So any of mine. Zombies get four or five. Right. It's right. just so, like there's so many parts of that movie that are actually really touching. Right. It's actually a love story. Yeah. It's an alien sci-fi love story. Love buddy, story. Buddy, it's really like yeah, it's like film. yeah, brother brother film. Brotherly yeah. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, it's not... They don't get sexual. But he's like, that's not. Up. Well, yeah, because they're both... That, that species is both male and female. His anyway, so we're, getting into, we're getting into... The, <laughs> we're getting into the details of this now. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's... It's it's definitely any enemy mind for me. I mean, I have the original yeah. poster, and he's super jealous of that. Yep, quite. Um, actually, the Dune poster is really cool, too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, enemy mind for me. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with any of mine as well. I think, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching another edition of This or That. Uh, movies. Please make sure you like and share and comment and subscribe to our YouTube page. Give us your feedback and also follow our Facebook page, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank. Uh, he's Coots. Yep, still. I'm he's, Tank. He's definitely Tank. And we'll see you next time, kids. Peace.